Alright, hey, here's Meg here, and I'm shooting the video about the KLX 140. It's actually a 170, but don't worry about that. Um, the uh, so uh, the, the, this video will be on how to change your clutch cable, okay? And how you'll know your clutch cable is starting to go out, okay? So I was uh, so here's a story. This is how I knew it was going out. Um, I uh, I was riding in Lovell Canyon or Red Rock Canyon near uh, Las Vegas and, and I was doing some enduro rock hopping kind of stuff you know r riding through like big rocks rock sections and stuff and and I was having to do like pivot turns and stuff and uh, and I noticed it's getting harder to do pivot turns like the so for, for one thing I, I noticed is that the clutch uh, the clutch doesn't disengage all the way it feels like it's kind of dragging a little bit and, and the next thing you'll notice is it gets harder to shift because you can't unload the motor. And three is uh, it's harder to get the bike into neutral. So I was like, I was trying to find neutral. I, I couldn't get it into neutral. Well, that's because we, you're not disengaging the, um, the motor enough, okay? So, so what happened was my clutch cable started fraying, okay? So the, some of the strands started coming out and, and that's, that's bad, okay? So it's a good thing I caught it. Because uh, I, I looked at, when I came back to camp and I looked, I, I peeled the, the clutch cover back and then I looked at the cable and, and then I opened it a little bit. I, I, I squeezed the clutch a little bit so I can kind of look at the cable and I saw some, it was starting to fray. So, so that's the end, of the end of the life of this cable. So the good thing is I caught it before it broke totally, okay? And if, you do, if that happens, uh, you're, you know, it's going to be hard to ride the bike, very hard because you got no clutch, okay? Um, it would definitely, you know, be a bad day for you. <laughs> I was to say if the clutch cable broke. So lucky, luckily, I was able to spot it before that happened. Okay, and I'll, I'll show you a close up of uh, of what that looks like right now. Okay, so here's my KLX 140, and so if you if there's this rubber cover on it. If you peel it back, okay, I'm not gonna put it back on, but if you peel it back. Um, what I notice is if I tighten the clutch, by tightening the clutch, you loosen this collar here and it tightens the clutch, okay? Um, I notice the clutch is really loose, okay? The reason the clutch is really loose is because it's starting to fray, okay? Okay, see? So that's what it looks like. It's kind of hard to tell. When, when we take it off, we'll take a closer look at it, but I'm pretty sure it, it's starting to fray. Like some of the, some of those little fibers, the, 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 the metallic kind of strands are breaking okay so that's that's what's going on there so it's a good thing i caught that before you know it it breaks for good <laughs> okay okay yeah so so for in this video we're going to install a new clutch on the klx 140 should be a really simple task like pretty much every other bike you gotta disassemble it and take the gas tank off this one i don't think you have to okay i I don't think I've ever replaced the clutch cable on this, but I, I know I've, I've worked on it before. I've taken it off and I put a different color boot on it, so I might put the, the green boot back on. Okay. I know that the DR650 over over there, uh, you have to take the gas tank off because you got to route the, the clutch cable through it. But, but this, uh, you know, the engine is so small on this guy and everything is kind of like naked on it. It's not too hard to figure out to, to fish things around. Okay, is what I'm gonna say. So I don't, I don't think this should take longer than like half an hour, maybe. Okay. Uh, okay. So the the part we'll be installing is this Motion Pro clutch cable. Okay. I got this on eBay. Okay. And uh, I got it for a total of eighteen dollars and thirty six cents. That's with the tax and everything. And I got it from Power Sport Superstore. Okay on eBay okay there's plenty there's plenty of places to get this uh, according to this it says it's a motion pro 03-0383 black vinyl clutch cable okay that's what it's that's what the item is called on eBay all right um, there's there's plenty of places you can probably get this all right um, I want to point out that I, I don't know how how well this is going to install on this bike because uh, one I have bar risers I have aftermarket bars and I have a KLX 140 front end, but but the stock cable fits, so I think it should fit. Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. All right, so I'm gonna so so yeah, this is the cable right here. All right, Motion Pro, good stuff, made in China, quality cable since 1984. 
so like I said, the, I'll put a this I'll put the parts description and all that stuff on the bottom of the uh, this the description video, okay? At the bottom of the where the description is in the video, and uh, and the part number is zero three dash zero three eight three, okay? And it's a cable black final clutch, right? And it says something about having to be installed by a professional mechanic, or or improper installation could result in great bodily injury or death. Okay, so so like don't don't screw this up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All right. Um, hopefully this is the right one. Okay, so let's go install it. Okay, so uh, I've got my bike on a stand just so it's kind of easier for me to work on. You don't need to have it on a stand. All right, but. If you don't want to hunch over too much, it helps. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is uh, uninstall the clutch cable from the uh, the perch and the lever. Okay, um, and to do that, you need to peel this black cover off. Okay, kind of like this. And mine's in pretty bad shape. I probably want to replace it. It helps keep dust and all that stuff out of there. All right, and then what you're going to want to do is loosen this locking nut right here, and then you're going to want to turn the clutch in okay turning tightening this collar loosens your clutch okay and that's what you want okay so it's just gonna get looser and looser as I tighten and if you're having trouble turning it you can use a pair of pliers but I'm not having too much trouble right now okay so that should be like super loose now okay oh yeah it's definitely fraying I can definitely see it okay and then what you're going to want to do is pull the cable back. Oh, you're going to want to line up. You're going to want to line up. Okay, no, no. Okay, so once it's seated all the way, you're going to want to line up. I'm going to back it off a little bit, and I'm going to line up the uh, the slit here, okay? And the locking nut. The locking, the locking nut will have a slit, and the collar, the adjustment collar, will have a slit, okay? Now you got to do is pull... The clutch cable back okay and then slip it out um, it might be a little bit easier on mine because my clutch is worn out <laughs> okay and then you're gonna want to move you're gonna want to move the cable all the way out um, like 90 degrees to the lever and then it should slip right out kind of kind of like that <laughs> okay Ooh, boop, boop, boop. there it is so all right so see, see this cable here it's see, see how some of the strands are coming off there's a there's a one big strand here and there's a bunch of other ones coming out yeah this is ready to go half half of the strands are gone on this so it, it was it's it's very crucial that you change this asap <laughs> asap or else your bike is not going to have a clutch okay all right and then uh and then we will go disconnect it from the bottom right now okay from where it goes to the the clutch on the engine case Okay, so that's what okay, like. so the area that we're going to be working in right now is right here on the right side cover, right under the exhaust. You don't have to take the exhaust off. There's kind of a lot of kind of a lot of room. Um, so this is like super loose now because there's nothing connected on the other end. Okay, when I pull this, this moves. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So you can probably take it off already so what I'm gonna do is pull this green boot back here which I'm probably gonna install in the new one Oop, it's like stuck in there huh? okay I'm gonna push it in and then pull it out okay got that I'll do it I'll put it back in also it may break from here too it could break from here I've never had one break from here though it usually breaks at the the pivot on the lever okay so just push it um, yeah, this will be super loose, so it should be easy now because since we disconnected the top one, push it, push it back like that, okay? Push it back and then push it towards the motor, okay? There you go. It should just slip right out. Boom. That's it, okay? So it's disconnected on both ends. Now we got to go take this uh, clutch, uh, clutch cable grabber thing. <laughs> Okay, right. right, so what we're gonna do next is disconnect the clutch cable from the little arm here that's holding okay, it. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's kind of hard to get off uh, without without with this cover on here. So this is a a four millimeter Allen wrench. Okay, I'm gonna go take these screws out here for the shield. You can probably paint it or 
clean it up while you're at it, you know? Maybe you don't even have to take the whole thing off. Just take one of the bolts off, okay? And then just kind of move it aside a little bit. Just take it off. <laughs> Mine is all beat up anyways, you know? Okay. It's not too hard. Two bolts, comes right out. All right. Okay, now, so now you can see it's a lot easier, a lot, lot easier to work on this. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is take your open end wrench here and just loosen these puppies. Okay. Just remember, to, and remember to take note how many threads was from the base to the nut here. And it was about four threads. So one, two, three, yeah, about four. It's not super critical, you know, just when you put it back, just get it, just adjust it the way you like it, okay? Okay, this, this guy's stuck in here. Pull that boot out. Okay, and then I think you're probably gonna have to, we're gonna have to take this, take, take the leftmost nut out. Okay, and then you can slide it out, okay? And then, um, Oh, okay, okay, okay. So when you got it this far, when the cable's exposed, you can just move it through the little slit in the back. Okay, you can see. If you look in the back there, it's kind of open. It's like a C shape. Okay, just take it out of the mouth right there. Boom, comes right out. All right. Um, all right, so now the next thing is to just uh, take the clutch cable out. Look at how much space there is to work on this bike. It's, it's amazing. It's super simple. That's what I love about this bike. Okay. Um, oh, man, all this stuff fell out. <laughs> Uh, okay, so now just uh, take note of where, how the uh, the clutch cable is routed onto your bike, okay? Don't forget it. If, if you, you think you might forget, take pictures, okay? So that's why I got this video right now. <laughs> All right, so here we got, I think it might help to take the nuts off. Just take all the nuts off. Oh, there's water in here. Hmm, that's interesting. Probably why my cable's going bad water inside it so that leads me to hey you should lube your cable before there shouldn't be any water in there though why would there be water inside the cable it's a good question inside the cable jacket okay so I'm gonna pull my little green booty off of here because I want to reuse it I'm gonna put this on the new one there's a little accessory I bought for my bike and I, I, I like it. it it looks cool it's Kawasaki green so Okay, so there's a little booty, and we're going to take these nuts off, and it should be able to slide off of everything now. Okay, so right here, I think I think it's better to go from this direction. We'll start from here. If we have to go for another one, that's fine. Okay, so the exhaust is kind of, that damn exhaust is in the way again, isn't it? <laughs> All right, I'm going to push up on this. All right, and then there's a kind of a loop right there. That's going there where it's going through, okay? Alright, see that loop there? So I'm gonna push it up so I get some clearance until I can slip it under the exhaust, okay? Now it's free, okay? I just push it out, keep on pushing it out. Okay, so another place it's going through is right here, okay? Right where this this kind of wing is, this little bracket on the side here, there's a open there's an opening right there. So remember that's where the clutch goes. And then, uh, I think that's it. There's really nothing else holding it. Okay. Yeah, it's just going to come right out, okay? Okay, so, so there's the clutch cable. Yeah. It's coming out. Just remember where it came through here. So, it looks like, it looks like it, on mine, it's on to the, to the left of where the, uh, it'd probably help if you took the number plate off, but we're just going to pull it straight off from here, okay? But just, just take a note of where it's going, okay? Okay, yep, yeah, just gonna pull it straight out from there. And just remember it was coming out this way and then going straight into the clutch. Boom, there you go. Piece of cake. I am surprised there's water coming out of here. Did I leave my bike in the rain at some point? I don't know. Um, but I guess water acts as a lubricant too, so. Um, yeah, okay, so. Okay, now that we've got it off, you can kind of look at the damage a little closer. Okay. Yeah, like I said, about half of it, half of the strands are already coming off. There, 
this wouldn't have lasted much longer is what I want to say. Okay, remember there's a little plastic clip thing on here too. Okay, all right, so let's go get the okay. new one. Let's take the new one out of the package and make sure it's the right one. Ooh, look at that brand new hardware, okay? Very nice, very nice. So just make sure it's it's roughly the same length. The important part is the jacket, okay? You want to make sure the jackets are the same. And they are. In fact, this one... In fact, the Motion Pro cable is a little bit longer, which, I don't know, it may make it harder to install. I'm not 100%. We'll find out when we actually install it, okay? But there is a there's a new cable right next to the old cable, okay? It's got this little little jacket around it to keep it from slide um, stuff from rubbing on it, you know. Okay, this is black and this is a kind of like um what is that? Galvanized, I think is what they call it. It does have its own little booty here. Okay. I'm gonna take that okay, okay so so what I'm gonna do is take this out take the little booty out because I'm gonna use the green one okay but if you you know it definitely if you chances are if your KLX is as old as mine it probably doesn't have the booty anymore so um, oof, I can't you know I can't can I get it off here I'm gonna try to invert it is what I'm gonna do I might I might mess it up you could still use this for like a different bike you know Das booty comes in handy, okay? Okay, so I got a brand new clutch cable booty. So if one ever rips on one of my bikes, I can I can I might be able to use this on it. So set that aside. Okay, so we're gonna take the nuts out first, okay? That'll make it easier to install it. Remember four threads, but I like I said this clutch cable is a little bit longer, so it, it might be a little different, okay? Alright, so the last thing we want to do is put this little booty back on okay so i probably should buy a new one but we will go reuse this one okay let's pull it out hopefully you don't mess it up all that much okay all right and then chuck that old cable this guy on here it's the opposite of how you had it before helps keep the dirt and the, the dust out of your cable so it's kind of important that it's in there okay okay so there you go you might want to pull this back a little bit so you can work with it a little better Okay, all right, so it's ready to be reinstalled. Uh, oh yeah, so before before I do this, I'm going to lube the cable, all right? All right, change your mind. I'm gonna lube the cable when we before we put it all back together, okay? Okay, so we're gonna right. go install this guy again. All right, so let's uh, fish it to the to way, the way it was before, okay? So it was to the left of my little starter button dealie here, okay? Let's put it back the way you found it, all right? Kind of got it through the first part. Okay, so the next important part it's got to go through is this little kind of where the bracket is, okay? If you guys remember that. Fish that down into there, okay? And then we're going to fish it down into this little de dealy right here, okay? Okay. All right. And then we're going to... Okay, so... Before we do anything else, I'm going to go lube the cable because it's kind of in a vertical position. It would be really easy to lubricate it right now, okay? I'm going to do it like the old-fashioned way. <laughs> okay, it's a little messy, but I got this little little baggie here, all right? And I'm going to poke a hole on the bottom in the center, okay? He doesn't use any fancy cable lubers when he does this. Do it without cutting himself. Okay, so there's like a little hole in the bottom now. 
Okay, and then so what I'm gonna do is drop the cable through the baggie. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to uh, get a zip tie. Okay, you don't have to do this, but I'm, I'm, you know, it's you're already there. You might as well do it, you know, type of thing. So you get many, many more uses out of this clutch. Pretty tight, okay. Then what you're gonna want to do is pull up on the wire. I'm gonna go get my cable loop spray. Okay, this is what I'm using for, for lube, Cable Life, okay? I've had one. I've had this bottle for, I, I can't even remember how long and I haven't used it all, so. <laughs> we're just gonna go try to spray it into the hole, the jacket, between the jacket and the, uh, or just fill it up. <laughs> fill it up with fluid. Oh, I can see. Well, look at there's a lot of bubbles coming out of it. This is going to be fast. So what I'm also going to want to get is a drip tray. Drip tray. <laughs> okay, I got a drip tray down there. So when the fluid, oh, 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 wow, that was fast. That's it. It's done. Wow, that was the fastest cable lubing ever, dude. That's it. So once you see it coming out the other end, you're done. Okay. So boy, wow, that was the fastest. I've never seen it do that before. So definitely doing it, this method is a lot better than than doing it while it's installed, okay? So, all right, so now we're just wasting a loop. Let's go connect okay. it. So we're gonna go put this cable back how we found it. So if you remember correctly, it, it didn't wanna go through the exhaust, so I'm gonna push it up a little bit until it goes through the exhaust. All right, push it through the loop here. Okay, okay. so we're like on this part already. And then we're gonna pull it, pull it, pull it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, what you want to do first is put... Do I want to use the black... Do I want to use the black nuts or the uh, the kind of golden ones? I think we'll use... Oh, let's go with the black ones. I'm going to put the original nuts back in. So you want to at least put this one back in. Okay, and if you remember, there was four threads exposed. I don't think it really matters right now. Okay this back in okay move this move this around Let's get that lube going around in there okay so that's back on there and then now you're gonna want to put the other nut back on you could use the the old ones or the new ones they're both compatible with each other so now I got an extra set of nuts Okay, and then just kind of install it the way you found it. All right. Before we put all that back in, we're gonna put the boot back on. I know why did they have the boot installed already? I, mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe they think you might be installing it a different bike, but on this bike, it's like this. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put the bottom cable back in. So just um, make sure this is like this all the way. Pull the boot back a little bit. Okay. Get the cable through the little uh, the mouth of the the Pac-Man. <laughs> so we call I call it a Pac-Man. We'll uh, we'll it. come back to this in a second. Okay, here we go. This is the fun part. Put this back together. All right, and just put it back the way you found it. I think. Oh, sorry, I didn't get it on video, but what I did is I. I sprayed a little bit more cable life in there just to get a little more in there because a lot of it kind of just dribbled out the other end. Okay, I wanted to get some inside the boot also. And then um, I cut the zip tie and then I took a, I pulled it out and I took a rag and I wiped the excess off. Okay, so now we can go install it back onto the uh, clutch perch. All right, so pull up on this guy as much as you can. It's about as far as it's going to go, man. But this is a little bit longer than the stock one, so I think it's. This should install pretty good. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is just put it back the way you found it. Get it back in the slit, the open part. So get it. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, put the little head 
in the hole, okay, and then just rotate the uh, the wire until it goes through the slit. Pretty much the same as you took it out, right? And then and then you should be able to get it through all the way through the slit. Okay, pull back a little bit to get it through there. Okay, put the jacket, insert the jacket into the uh, the adjustment collar, and then uh, start start loosening it. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and install. I'm gonna go tighten the bottom nuts. All right. So, uh, so if you remember correctly, it was four. There was four threads exposed. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten this until there is about four threads exposed. That's how I had it before. You know, you can adjust it either way, any way you want, man. But. All right, so I'm just gonna drive my fingernail in there. One, two, three, yeah, almost four. Tighten it just a little bit more. Okay, count again. One, two, three, four. Okay, it's a little, probably a little bit more than, than it was last time. Then I'm gonna go tighten the other one. Okay. Just make it snug, okay, and then push the little booty over the threads here, so it's got something to grab onto. I can feel all the the lube coming out of it. <laughs> Means it should be it should go on nice and easy, right? Okay, okay, that should be good. All right, so the bottom the bottom part is done. Okay. I'm gonna go put the shield back on. That we're done down here. Not too hard, just the two bolts. Okay, I may want to add a washer to that. It's it's a little loose here. <laughs> I think I, I thought I think it's supposed there's supposed to be a washer back there. Okay, so we're gonna finish installing the top portion. Um, so. So now it should be pretty tight. You want there to be a little bit of play, okay? I'm not 100% like how much play they are, they're asking for. Also, might right now might be a good time to change your clutch lever if it's kind of worn out. But but uh, so to tighten it, you loosen this collar. To loosen it, you you uh, you turn it in, okay? You tighten it, okay? So you want there to be a little bit of play, so you know that you know the clutch fully disengages. Okay, so there's. That has this a little teeny tiny bit of play right there. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, and then you're gonna have to ride it and adjust it how, to get it how you want it. Some people, some people like it to disengage a little bit sooner. You know, you don't want to pull it very much, and some people like to just grab the whole lever. It depends on you know if if you just ride it a little bit and then just adjust it. It's not hard to adjust. You know, you just stop on the side of the trail and adjust it. Type of thing. Okay, so when when you're done, when you think you got it how you want it, okay, I think I mean, I might want it a little loose, tighter. I like it a little tight. Okay. Okay, but there should be just a little bit of play. That way you know. Okay. Now we're gonna go tighten the uh, adjuster net. Well, like I said, um, you you can adjust it to your preference at this point. Okay, and then put your little booty back on. Put, put, put the little booty back on. There you go. All right. All right, there you go. Feels good. Nice and you should have a nice and smooth clutch pull because you got a brand new clutch. Okay, so one lever. thing you might want to do is uh, just make sure the, the cable doesn't bind when you turn the uh, when you turn the handlebars, okay? So just make sure it is good. All right. Just make sure you don't have any problem turning the handlebars, and it's pretty, pretty nice. It's pretty smooth. Okay, so I think I think we're good. We're good. And like I said, this clutch cable is actually slightly longer than the stock one, just by a teeny tiny bit, maybe like five millimeters, which helps. Okay, it helps, especially for me since I have bar risers and a different set of bars. You know, my my cables are stretched a little bit. Okay, so this actually helped out a little bit. <laughs> um, 
Okay, so that should be it. Um, so just take a look at the bottom here and make sure everything is operating pro properly. If you just make sure that is operating properly, I'm gonna squeeze the clutch lever and you should see it move. Okay. All right, and that should be it, we're done. All right, hey, Hazevig here, and uh, and we just got done um, installing the new Motion Pro clutch cable. And we're replacing the old one that was frayed. Half of it was frayed, so that was gonna go like soon, okay? Um, what I did notice is if, if I did tighten the, the the cable a little bit, I it started working normal again, but it's only gonna, it's only, you know, it's only a matter of time before that cable snaps and then, then it won't work in, at all, so. You definitely, if something like that happens, stop riding. Like, stop ri or stop riding, or get back to camp right away. That type of thing. That, that's exactly what happened to me. But anyway, there you go. Um, I think it should it should take you about half an hour to do it. You don't have to take any body panels. You didn't see me take any body panels off. The only thing I really took off to make it a little bit easier is I took the um, exhaust heat shield off. Okay, and it's only two bolts. It comes right out, and it's really easy to put back in. So like I, like I told you, man, it's really easy to work on this bike. That's the beauty of the KLX, you know. It's a simple, simple, reliable machine. It's a little tank. That's what we call it, okay? Um, okay, so, so yeah. Um, so it, should take, it t should take you about half an hour to do it if you know what you're doing. Probably even less, you know. But, uh, but like, it, o it always takes longer when you're shooting a video. I think it took me like about half an hour, okay? And the cable is like only like 18 bucks, you know, it's money well spent. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's probably the stock cable on this bike. And this bike is 2011. I got 10 years out of that cable. Pretty good, okay. Um, one thing I might want to start looking at is the, the, uh, the throttle cable. <laughs> to, to see if that's still good. But, uh, but yeah, there it is. Kalex uh, 140, uh, fully operational again, all right? Fully mission capable. All right, here's my gap. I'll put the uh, the the description and the uh, the part number for the Motion Pro uh, cable in the description of the video. All right, here's me out.